Good morning from a very sick Acuna household. You can probably hear it in my voice. Rowan picked something up at school like a week and a half ago, and thankfully he's over it, so he's actually back at school right now. But then Juniper and I caught it, so we've got something going through the house. Thankfully it's pretty mild. I'm just congested. My voice sounds weird, um, but I am letting Missy Mae sleep in as late as she wants to because her poor little body is fighting so hard. So it's just you and me right now, which is kind of a nice way to start the vlog. I can get on a whole sentence without being interrupted. Also, I am filming with an old camera today because I dropped my camera, I kid you not, less than 10 minutes into Disneyland the first day. Um, and thankfully I was able to get it to work for the majority of the time we were at Disneyland, but the lens keeps opening um, even when the camera is off for some reason. Um, so I had to send it into the shop. So. We're doing this one today. From what I remember, the autofocus is terrible on this camera, so I will try to keep on top of it. But I wanted to show you guys my outfit of the day. I am really living my comfiest life. This is from a shop called Called to Surf. I love these puffy sleeves. I love seeing the little messes of boyhood that are left over when Rowan goes to school. We actually went to the thrift store yesterday because he asked, my boy, um, and he picked out this little parking garage for $2. And he is absolutely obsessed with it, has not stopped playing with it since. You know, kiddo really strong-armed me into going to the thrift store. I I don't know what to say, my hands were tied. So of course I had to get some stuff too. First of all, for $3.49, I got this little gold pot. This is for a project that I wanna do outside of this spring where I wanna make the kids a mud kitchen. So I've been trying to thrift like cheap pots and pans for the mud kitchen. And I'm like, paint little rocks to look like food. It's gonna be so cute. I got this kid-sized picnic basket for $4.49, which I was shook about because I'm pretty sure New Floor sells one of these for really expensive. Let's look it up so I can feel accomplished. So almost identical and they sell theirs for 36 bucks. I was so stupid excited about this. I found this little wardrobe and I have so many little clothes for my Waldorf doll that are just sitting in this wicker basket over here. And I thought maybe I could make little hangers for this and like hang up all Waldorf dolls little clothes. I don't know. And then lastly, I gasped when I saw these at the thrift store because I love Monet. He's been my favorite artist since I was in high school and they had four huge Monet prints. They were $7.99 each, but I had a 20% off coupon, so cheaper than that even. And I picked up two of them. I'm kind of wishing I had gotten all four, but I picked up my favorite two. So this is Parisians in the Park. Oh, there you go, now you can see. And I actually don't know the name of this one, but I thought it was so beautiful. Google says this one is called Late Summer Afternoon on the Lake. There's my mini thrift haul. I spent less than 30 bucks and I got a bunch of really awesome stuff. Something kind I'm doing for my body today is drinking my AG1. And I wanna say a huge thank you to AG1 for sponsoring this video. Keep my AG1 right here, easy access. I've been waiting to make my AG1 until it was time to film this sponsorship. And when I tell you guys that I could not stop thinking about it this morning, I just wanted to drink it right away because it really is delicious as well as being so good for you. If you haven't heard of them before, AG1 is your one-stop shop for supporting holistic whole body health. It is made for anyone and everyone and you can support your body's foundational needs in just one scoop. I personally like drinking mine over ice. This is so easy to prepare and what I really love about it is it has a lot of like mood boosting benefits. I personally have noticed a lower stress level since I started taking this. And I also just have like more energy and focus, which is amazing. It also helps to support healthy aging and I have definitely noticed that in my skin, which is awesome because like I am on a skin journey right now. So anything that I can do to support it is really great. I'm also gonna add in a little bit of their vitamin D3 and K2 because we don't see the sun in Washington. So I need all the vitamin D I can get. Love that sound. It tastes like pineapple and vanilla. It's so refreshing. It just feels like I'm doing something really good for myself. AG1's biggest focuses are on their quality and standards, which are super high, making their product a whole body solution and continuous improvement. They have already changed and tweaked their formula 52 times, so it just keeps getting better. You can head to the link down in my description to get a free one year supply of vitamin D3 plus K2 plus five free travel packs with your first purchase of AG1. You got your baby? Hi baby. Hi. You're my baby. You want Mau Mau too? Yeah. Here you go. 
Oh, you got your stuffies. Can I get you up now? Yes. No. Can I change your diaper? Yes. No. You just you wanna lay in bed all day? Yeah. <laughs> Me too. I've never tried to do this before, so I don't know if this is going to hold me or not, but we're going to try. Hi! No. Oh, okay. Sorry. Let me sit. I'm going to lay down and snuggle, baby. Oh, nice baby. Oh, nice baby. You want to lay down on your pillow? Oh, oh. Night, night. night night. Did you give her a kiss night night? Go. Let's go. Go. All right. This girly pop is truly in her baby doll era, and I'm living for it. It's so precious. She's just walking around giving her baby little pat-pats. Pat-pat. Pat-pat, so nice. Oh, there goes baby. I don't know if anybody has a fix for this, but this is a little doll that I got at the thrift store for like, I think, $1.49, um, because I thought I had the cutest little hand-knit outfit, and I kind of just planned to take the outfit off of it, but she has now become baby. extremely attached, baby. and baby does have some baby. pen on her face and I cannot figure out how to get it off. So if anybody knows, please let me know because we don't go anywhere without baby these days. Let's get this out of your face. Make you more comfy, huh? You know, I did not realize that Juniper and I have the exact same hair color until we did some little self portraits this weekend just for the memories and seeing us next to each other with the exact same hair color absolutely made me cry it's like that's my girl right there that's my girl huh yeah. you're always daddy's mini but you're my mini show us your outfit girly pop <laughs> you look so cute today <laughs> junie's outfit is courtesy of my friend steph who gave it to us for your first birthday and girly pop is so small and it just now fits you huh it's pretty cute it's from kate quinn Hello. Hello. Hi. 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 He's so cute, girly pop. Boo. Boo. Are you trying to scare them? Yeah. Yeah. You want your camera so you can do a little vlogging? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Baby. Baby. Oh. Here's your camera. If you want to the platform pops. Juma, I have news. It's time to go get Roro. Those are his shoes. You got your shoes on. Should you go pick them up from school? No. No. This is my fault. I shouldn't have given a choice there. Having some big feelings, huh? But it's time to go. Hey. Okay. Let's go get Roro. Okay. This is my first time vlogging in the cottage car since I did the little makeover on Instagram. I'm obsessed with it. If you missed it over there, it was so much fun. Oh. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Look, I've got a microphone. Well, you pull it out, honey? Yeah. Yeah, let's not pull it out, okay? No, I can fix it. You just pull, poke it in this teeny tiny hole. Got it. All right, kiddos, what sounds good for lunch? Peanut butter jelly sandwich. Peanut butter jelly sandwich? I can do that.
Baby girl, did you push that learning tower over by yourself? Yeah. Nice job. I'm making your lunch. Does it look yummy? Yeah. Yeah, you think you're gonna like it? No. No? But it looks yummy? Yeah. <laughs> you are so silly. All right, both kiddos are fed and down for naps. And I honestly feel like that is the hardest part of the solo parenting day, especially on school days, is feeding them lunch and getting them into bed. So very happy that I have made it past that hump. But now I have to go and sit down at my computer and get a bunch of work done. And I am so tired. I'm just gonna throw a little like tiny 30 second pity party for myself because I am sick and Juniper is sick. And honestly, the worst part of being a mom and a small business owner when I think about it is that you don't get sick days. Like I would love nothing more than to just curl up in my bed right now and sleep for the whole day. But tiny little people need me to keep them alive and there's no one to cover for me in my business when I'm sick. So I'm just toughing it out. I'm so tired, I don't feel good, but it's okay. I am lucky to have this job where I can kind of take it at a slower pace today. I can hang out with you guys, which is honestly my favorite part of my job. And I have a lot of flexibility in my schedule. I just wish that I could take a sick day. So I think I'm gonna go and get that work done, but first, before the kids actually fall asleep, I wanna use the hammer, so I should do that now before they fall asleep, to put up those two paintings that I showed you that I thrifted, or prints of paintings. So let's do that real quick, get a little hit of dopamine, then we'll do the work tasks and we'll reward ourselves with gardening or garden planning. Okay, so my first thought is that one of them might look nice here because I've always felt like that one might be a little bit too small, but I also don't wanna have the gold frames next to each other. Well, let's see if the size is even good first before I go about rearranging everything. Oh, is that too big? I think this one might look nice right there. And honestly, there's already a hole there where I hung something up at one point. I think for like a holiday. These were what, $6.40 each with the coupon that I use? Insanity. Yeah, I think that looks quite nice. And then I knew right away when I was thrifting these that one of them was gonna go here um, because I love these prints, but I re refinished these frames from the thrift store and I did a terrible job. So they've just kind of been bothering me. Um, I don't know if there's a way for me to save them. I will definitely try if I can, but for right now, I think this is gonna look so nice. I'm kind of bummed that you can see this at the top, maybe I'll attach some like picture hanging hardware. Or what I've seen people do is like get ribbon, like pretty silk or satin looking ribbon and like make it look like it's hanging from that even though it's not and that would probably cover this. So maybe I'll do that, who knows? I think that's very cute. I literally just walked into my office and found this. How stinking perfect for what I was just talking about. I'm so excited about it. But first I really need to get some computer work done. And I know they say to start with your hardest task first, but I'm starting with my most fun task first right now because that is where I am at today. Actually, by the time you see this, you will be able to order this, I think. I'm doing one final, I say, probably final, edition of the Everyday Presence Journal. This is the Coquette edition. I'm obsessed with it. It's bows, clearly. I'm having a thing for bows right now, as I think a lot of people are. Um, but I also redesigned the inside. So the daily pages are pretty much still the same, but there's like a ton of other extra stuff in here now. So there's like some exercises for designing your dream life, creating your best self. There's a vision board. There's like some goal setting and monitoring stuff in here. And then at the end of each week, there is going to be a weekly reflection, a review. Um, I'm so excited about it. I feel like I really just made this because I wanted it. I'm not gonna do like a big launch for this or anything. Like I just wanted this cover so I made it and I added some extra stuff in that I wanted as features. Um, but what I need to do right now is go and update the digital edition um, so that it matches and has the new cover. Um, I'm also updating the interior of the other three Everyday Presence journals to have all of the extra stuff 
as well. Um, so that's really exciting. I am stoked about it. And if you already ordered the digital edition, um, feel free to shoot me an email and I will send you the updated PDF um, with all the new stuff in it. So that's what I'm doing right now. Boring, boring. <laughs> I did it, I put my pedal to the metal, I buckled down, I got it done, and now I get to do the fun part. Hopefully I can do this before the kids wake up. Um, my florette order came in, and oh my gosh. First of all, these were so expensive. I understand why. It is a breeding program, this is the first time they've released them, there's a lot of demand, um, but I think I paid, with shipping and everything, like $50 for three packets of seeds. So, this is all I'm planting this year. I don't think that I'm going to do like, 20 different varieties like I did last year. I really just want to see if I can get these really strong um, and keep a really close eye on their needs. I have a ton of perennial stuff that will come back up, so I will have a lot of different varieties, but these are the only new ones I'm gonna be starting. So first of all, I got the Zinnia Dawn Creek Pastels. I think I'm the most excited about this. I just love the blush tones and the peach and the light yellow. They're just so, Beautiful, and last year I really wished I had grown more zinnias, so we're gonna do those. I also got this Solosia, I think is how you pronounce it, which I've never grown before, but I thought it would be really pretty um, as kind of like a new texture in my arrangements, because I don't do a lot of greens. Um, I know I should, I know it would make my arrangements better, but I just don't have the motivation to grow it. So I got this, and then lastly, this is the thing that I think is gonna be the most challenging. This is the Petite Florette Dahlia's Mix. And these are so pretty, they're such a big variety, um, but as most of you probably have seen in past gardening years on my channel, typically you grow dahlias from tubers. But when you grow a dahlia from a tuber or a cutting, it is not like a, an exact clone of the mother plant, whereas for the seeds, it is. So I have to start these seeds, grow them into tubers basically, and then I'll get Dahlia, so it's gonna take a long time and I'm a little bit terrified about it. I desperately hope I get this one. This is everything. This one too. So I'm pulling out my gardening notebooks because this is the first really intentional gardening work I've done this year. Um, and I don't really remember where I left off from last year, but thankfully I leave myself detailed notes. So here are my spring notes from last year. And I also need to look up our last frost because I don't want to plant these too early. I don't know if I can do it today, um, like inside in the greenhouse or if I should wait a little bit. Oh yeah, okay. So it's probably a little too early for everything except the dahlias, but I might be able to do the dahlias. Let's see, they have this like guide in all of the seed orders and the prettiest postcards. Four to eight weeks before you want to plant them out. Oh, but it says they do best in rich, heavily amended soil. Oh, you know what? I'm pretty sure last year I made a note of a specific seed starting soil mix that one of you guys recommended. Yes, I did. Okay, so it's on my garden shopping list. So I need to order that then because I want to give these guys the best chance of germination and survival because they were so but the good thing, especially about the Dahlia tubers, is like once I grow them into the tubers, I can reuse them year after year after year. And I'll definitely get way more than $50 worth of flowers out of it. It just like hurt my wallet a little bit at first. Okay, so it's called Root Riot, and that is what one of you guys recommended. So I'm gonna order this on Amazon. Also, absolutely love this. I got this used on Amazon for like $2. It's called The Mindful Gardener, and it's like basically a mindfulness slash meditation journal for gardeners in garden season and it's so fun. It's really like just a notebook but then they have like prompts on the left. Just to give you guys a peek into my garden planning process, I have this that I got, I'm pretty sure for free from like a Pinterest downloadable. It's from The Artisan Life, uh, natashalh.com and I'm pretty sure it was free if I'm remembering correctly. I've had it for a few years. Um, but basically it has, like you can put in a list of nurseries, suppliers, places you like to buy seeds. Um, there's a garden wish list, seed, root, and bulb inventory, shopping list, planting overview, a tracker. Um, you can do notes for each season. There's even like a seasonal garden layout, which I always really enjoy, um, especially because it helps me to have a visual representation of like what area in the garden gets the most sun um, at what type of day for planning. And then there's like a monthly page for each thing. So this is my 
May one from last year. And it's just really helpful to have notes to look back on for things that I wanna change for this year. Let's go see if there's anything growing out there already. Okay, I have really not done <laughs> any weeding yet this year, so bear with me. But somehow I'm pretty sure these are zinnias and they're still like kind of alive. I wonder if I chop them kind of close to the base if they'll produce again this year, but those are supposed to be annuals, so that's crazy. Looks like we've got some tulips coming up. Yeah, lots and lots of tulips. Ooh, here's some, I think this is either ranunculus or anemone. I can't remember what I planted here. More zinnias. This one's actually like doing pretty good. Lots more tulips here. It is such a beautiful day today. It really feels like spring, even though it's not quite yet. This is the first day where I feel like we've had sun. I'm like outside in short sleeves. I'm not cold at all. We've got little buds on the lilacs. We definitely need to get these out of the pots. We bought four for up there and two of them are up there and the other two never got planted. Cordana roses are coming back from last year, which is amazing. Does anybody know if there's any hope for my raspberry plant over here? Cause it's not looking so hot. That is the biggest weed I think I've ever seen. Ooh, but look, <gasps> wow. Okay, it looks like the slugs got at this, but holy cow, I didn't even know we were at the point of the year where we could even start getting little buds yet, so I guess I gotta do some sluggo. Luckily I have that in the greenhouse already. Ooh, I need to clean up in here. It is extremely messy and disorganized, but here's the sluggo. So I think my plan this year is to make this whole thing just zinnias, dahlias, and celosia, other than the annuals that pop back up. So it looks like We've got something coming back up there. I gotta go back and look at pictures. It's either hydrangea or peony, not entirely sure. And then I'll probably make the zinnias, like the middle part. I'll pull the tulip bulbs, just like I did last year, um, once the tulips have already um, bloomed, and then I'll put them in the garage. Next fall, I'll put them back in the ground. That's what I did this last year, and it worked out great, because they're blooming again. And then I'm thinking the dahlias will be from that hydrangea to about here, where the lemon balm was, and then I'll do celosia on the end. So that's, the plan, but obviously I have a lot of weeding to do first. Kiddos are awake and Rowan has requested that we go on a walk, so we are gonna get some shoes on, yeah? yeah. All right. Yeah. knows the way to my heart. Then I got more stuff too. Thanks for doing some grocery shopping. Yeah. Honey, you need a tissue. You booger brain. Matt is home. I'm so excited to just spend some chill family time together tonight. We have no plans, just dinner and hanging out. It's been a really busy couple of weeks, so it'll be a nice break. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here so I can fully concentrate on my family, but thank you guys so much for watching, and another thank you to AG1 for sponsoring. Don't forget to check out that link in the description for their special offer. I love you guys lots, and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye! I follow only golden. Oh